Hi, darling. Well, it is a gray, gloomy Saturday morning, August 14th, 2021, and I I don't know, I'm trying to decide whether this will be the last Dulcinea Chronicle, at least for the time being. Here on this gray, gloomy day here in Paradise, as the chill begins to set in, good lord, the difference a day makes at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Anyway, darling, uh... I think some of the people listening in to this have probably figured out the secret mission I was going on on Wednesday to the audition I failed was going to meet you. And since we have met back up now, I guess the Dulcinea Chronicles have served their purpose, although they have failed in their goal. So, uh, darling, the eight hours that I got to spend in your company sitting at a hot picnic table for eight solid hours just in your company listening to you uh, discourse shall we say uh, was one of the great pleasures certainly one of the most uh, stimulating days of my summer of 2021 I do wish it could have taken place here instead of in a hot parking lot. Uh, but anyway, Maggie, I, uh, I spent eight hours asking you one question. I think we actually counted the syllables. What can I do to convince you to come visit me at Bugs in a Jar Farm. This was a a simple, straightforward question uh, that I asked maybe 150 times over an eight-hour period, but you seem to be a lot more interested, I don't know, in talking about space aliens than talking about you coming up here to uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, to see what I have created up here to uh, build our little nest and I could not get a commitment from you to come up here to spend one night so obviously the answer to the question, what can I do to convince you to come up here to Bugs in a Jar Farm to see what I have created for you and I to begin our new life together? The answer is nothing. Well, there's nothing more. I, I have done everything I can, darling. I have done everything I can. I have spent two solid summers of my life getting this place, this new nest built for you out here in paradise. And uh, whatever it is that I have done has not been enough. There is one person uh, uh, on this planet who is going to convince you to come up here. It's six hours to come up here and spend one night. I remember it being 30 nights. Now I'm trying to make it one night for you to come up here, see this place, spend one night up here, and uh, decide whether this is what you want to do with your life or not. Since I'm not the person who can convince you to do that, your husband <coughs> uh, is, is not the person who is going to convince you to do that. Uh, there is one person, Maggie, and it is you. 
I don't know what else I can do. This is yours. All you have to do is come say, yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I'll take one of those. But for whatever reason, reasons, you're choosing to uh, stay down there and your little comfort trap, uh, whatever it is, doesn't sound that comfortable to me. Uh, uh, the description you gave uh, uh, that I heard for eight hours, the description I'm getting of your life sounds pretty fucking horrible. But there is one person who is going to convince you that this is something you A, want to do, and B, need to do with your life. And that is you. I am here. You know how to find me. Uh, you have my number. I, we talked about creating uh, an, an entire fucking email address just for you and me. I, I texted you all of that. You completely ignored that. I have not heard one peep out of you. Uh, you, you, you tell me how much you're in love with me. Blah, blah, blah. We obviously, uh, it, 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 you know, we can spend eight hours together uh, sitting at a hot picnic table filling up a day. Uh, <laughs> but trying to get your hard-headed, stubborn little ass to get in your fucking car and come up here. I will keep the mushrooms in the fridge ready for your trip. Hambone and Maggie doing mushrooms together. That, that ought to be, <laughs> that, that alone should be worth the, the trip. That, that could be the single biggest fucking mistake I ever do in my life, eating mushrooms with you. But uh, I want to get together with you in the mushroom kingdom. And, uh, let the psilocybin, let, let the psilocybin, uh, guardians, if that's what they are, let's call them guides. Let's see what the psilocybin guides have to tell us. Let's sit right here at this beautiful picnic table. And, uh, See what the mushroom gods have to say about you being my doomer chick forever. But obviously, I am your doomer dude forever. <sighs> lucky girl, lucky girl. You have a doomer dude till the day I die. And, uh... You know where to find me, darling. I love you. Goodbye.